ghosts, gangsters, and a 160-year-old well. They're all part of the story behind a distillery in the South Suburbs. The founders of Thornton Distilling say it opened in Illinois' oldest standing brewery just months before COVID. So now they're finally getting people talking about their drinks, and today we're getting a look under the distillery to see the history down below. This is not the only kind of spirit at Thornton Distilling. I guess the primary ghost is uh, the Night Watchman. Uh, the Night Watchman was the groundskeeper during Prohibition. Uh, he supposedly still haunts the walls or haunts the space. The distillery, located next to Thorn Creek, has quite a history, dating back more than 160 years. And it's all because of this, a treasure for brewers one level underground. To reach it, you have to go through a locked gate and climb through a hole in a brick wall. We are in our subterranean limestone filtered artesian well. Uh, the artesian well uh, is naturally pressurized. It's a flowing well. Uh, so it would, if it wasn't capped, it would be flowing like a geyser right now. Water would be shooting from the ground. Andrew Howell is one of the founders. He says the building and the artesian well date back to 1857, when a German immigrant named John Bielfeldt built the original brewery. He made his popular beer here for decades using that limestone filtered water. It is exceptionally good uh, brewing water. Uh, it is limestone filtered, which means that it adds uh, important minerals to, uh, to the water that are good for yeast health, as well as takes out certain um, chemicals that would be detrimental. According to their research, the founders say when Prohibition hit, someone else took over. That's when the Chicago outfit enters the picture. The Chicago outfit, as in Al Capone's gang. We believe they were bootlegging uh, distilled spirits here as well as beer, but um, there was just a hotbed of activity here. The mob history may be fascinating, but the distillery's founders say it was the well that brought them here. Starting the company in 2016, the building had been empty for years. This is our 170 gallon uh, spirit still. It is a pot column hybrid still, which means that we can operate it in a variety of different ways to get the spirit character that we're really going for. After so, restoring it, the distillery finally opened just months before the pandemic. This year, they are finally able to operate at full strength, holding tastings all over the area of their own line of spirits, each with a dash of history. I am immensely passionate about this. Uh, it is being a distiller is my life's calling. Thornton Distilling's brand of spirits is called Drop Dead Drop. It's called Dead Drop, which is a prohibition era term for barrels of liquor left at a secret location to be picked up later.